we are a business. We are business uh, oriented college running on source programs. And it's only till last year because of the demand that is needed in the hospitality industry. We have introduced new programs like Diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management in Singapore. So in fact, uh, last year itself, we have a new program that started only in July. And this is one of the very popular programs in Singapore. The whole program structure for Diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management uh, is one full year. And in this one full year itself, we break up the initial six months where students will attend classes on a daily basis, Monday to Friday, three hours a day. And on the seventh month itself, we are sending students out for industrial attachment. Okay. Students will be paid uh, an allowance from a range from $800 to $1,600 Singapore dollars. Huh? The exchange rate now is uh, one Singapore dollars is actually 62 Indian rupee. Okay. So um, after the program, after the industrial attachment, if students are actually uh, giving very good, uh, committed to the, the positions that they are working, or I would say if they are very hardworking, they excel very well in the positions uh, that they are working for, they will be given a full-time employment. Okay, this is the very popular programs that um, we, we, we are introducing to you all. Of course, on the other hand, uh, what have we been doing for the past 24 years? We are business school. Of course, we run all the business modules. We have a university partner that is actually affiliated to us. That is um, University of Chichester from UK. Uh, we Our program runs on a three-year program. We have a three-year degree, bachelor's degree program. And the final year, we have a Master's of Science in Business Management. Yeah, that is actually the, the brief introduction of our college. So at this junction, um, do you have any questions for me? Let's let's keep this uh, a, a, a very Q&A. It will be better. Yeah. Jessila, you, are you the host, Jessila? Hello. Hello, hi. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Good evening. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, you said you said about that employment uh, this thing, no? So can you repeat that? Okay. Um see, after the, 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 the hospitality program that we mentioned earlier is one year course. Yes, okay. Initial six initial six months, students are required to attend classes on a daily basis, Monday to Friday, three hours a day. And then on the seventh month, we will actually be sending them out for industrial attachment. So during these industrial attachments, students will be paid a monthly allowance. It's like a salary, but we term that as an, an allowance from 800 Singapore dollars to 1,600 Singapore dollars. So during these uh, six months of industrial attachment, we always urge students to put in their effort, uh, committed. Because students that are uh, committed during these six months, usually they will be offered a full-time employment thereafter. Yeah. Okay. Here is, I, yeah. So uh, after that, uh, the stay back, stay back opportunity. Uh. Okay. That I would I would say that is the stay back opportunity, but then again. Uh, the percentage is not that high. It's about 17.8%. Meaning to say, every 1,000 students that we have sent for industrial attachment, 178 students stay back for full-time employment. And of course, this 178 students consist of students coming from all parts of the world. 
We have Chinese, the Japanese, the Koreans, the Indians, uh, the Vietnamese, the Burmese, and all like that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, is there any other questions from the ground? I understand that uh, this group is kind of uh, huge. So anytime you have any questions, uh, you can unmute yourself and you can ask me. I think let's keep it this way so that all of us, uh, we can hear what are the questions and, and my answer to you. Yep. Sir, can you please tell me the tuition fee for the program? For hospitality program, I would say? Yes. Okay, uh, so I think uh, you are Sarisa, okay. The post fee for this program is 4,990 Singapore dollars for one full year. Okay, so uh, of course the initial, the initial payment that uh, we usually request this from the student is uh, Singapore $30 application fee. This payment is required for payment to be done in Singapore immigration to, to process the application. So upon approval, we will we will send you the the this student contract and student is required to pay this fee uh, one time for 4990 has per the offer letter and just before they go for industrial attachment, student is required to pay another $218. That's all. Okay. Sorry, Tanya. Yeah. yeah. It's clear. And also one more doubt. Uh, the student need to have IRTS requirement or any interviews? Okay, um, for hospitality uh, industry, uh, of course, academic-wise, uh, the requirements is not that high. The minimum entry requirement is a year. It's not mandatory, but of course, during the industrial attachment, uh, the position that we are placing out students will very much depends on the student's English proficiency. For example, uh, we have students coming from the north. Uh, example only, uh, students from the north, their English proficiency is not that fluent. They will be uh, placed to somewhere on the back end, like housekeeping department, you know, to the, the, the preparation in the kitchen, things like that. And if you are having slightly better uh, English proficiency, of course, um, hotels, the restaurants will be more than happy to put them on the front, you know, things like that. And uh, for, for students that is working on the front, there are higher chance for so of course over time comes with extra salary. That is how I derive uh, the allowance from eight hundred dollars to thousand six hundred dollars. That is the range, but I would say on the average, students will be getting a minimum allowance of a thousand two hundred dollars average. Yeah, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes. Any more questions from the ground? Can you share any brochures of uh, something uh, material regarding the institutions? Uh, yes, uh, Giri. Yes, uh, I would say after this, uh, I will get I will get B Joy to forward you our uh e-brochures so you can share it with all your offices. Okay, thank you. Is so yeah, many I mandatory? Through... Sorry, again? So 
money, any amount to be shown in the bank. Okay. Uh, let me just go through, uh, starting from the documents that is required. So once the student has decided that he wants to proceed with an application with us, documents required is a scanned passport copy, a scanned photograph with white background, birth certificates, and then your highest uh, certificates and transcripts. We need, if the student is having a gap, we will require a working statement and then we will also need a bank statement. The bank statement uh, amount is re required is 15 lakh. So uh, in the event, if any students are having difficulties providing you know, the working statement or providing this bank statement, uh, you can always write in to us. The school will be the sponsorship for our students like that, okay? I hope I have answered to your question. So, uh, yeah, next. So, for so many, uh, is there any maturity period or a one day? Uh, you mean for the bank statement? Not required. Just a statement to show that the amount is in the bank. That's it. Okay, well, then what about the age limit and the uh, minimum, uh, minimum, okay, uh, age limit? What about age limit for the course application? Uh, in fact, um, we, for Indians itself, our oldest student that is, uh, the minimum age requirement, I would say it will be 17.5 years old because when they have applied at the age of 17.5, they fly into Singapore, they attend a six months program, then they will be 18 years old for us to send him for industrial attachment. Because under the, the Ministry of Manpower in Singapore, whoever works in the industry needs to be 18 years old minimum. Okay? So up to uh, which age they can apply? Let's keep it at 44 because our last year we have a, a student at the age of 44 that's approved. Let's keep it 17.5 to 44 years old. It's fine. How about a part-time job? They can do part-time job during study? During studies, um, the initial six months, uh, I will say part-time job is illegal. It's not possible. But again, uh, to 90% of our students are doing part-time in Singapore. But if you would ask me, it is illegal. Yeah. And once, if a st uh, student is not selected for a job after the inter industrial attachment, he should be back. There's no step back. Okay. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, those getting full-time employment, uh, the percentage is 17.8%. So I, I believe everyone is wondering what about the remaining 82.2% of students? Okay, the remaining students, uh, what I would say is this, uh, most of, half of those, they will actually come back to the college for their advanced studies. And of course, the remaining half, they will be using Singapore as a springboard. They will actually go to other countries, countries like Australia, to UK and all. And of course, there will be a fair bit of students that's returning back to their Home country. Yeah. I think they should return to the home country in case they don't get a job. 
they should get returned to the home country they cannot use it as a springboard to travel to another com- country from there without the visa uh of course of course i mean uh do you, of course for, like i mentioned for those students that is um leaving from singapore to other countries they must first have their visas approved before flying over and we do have students doing that is there any other questions from the ground how about the expenses the living expenses uh, accommodation and their uh, day to day food I would say, uh, let, let me let me provide you guys with a range. Okay, we start from this accommodation. Accommodation, um, of course, uh, sh- room sharing. Uh, it starts all the way to you know, like um, uh, of course, most of our students are are, are choose sharing. And then 150 Singapore dollars per month. Uh, food expenses, it also very much depends. Uh, I would say food is about 300 Singapore dollars on a monthly basis. And of course, uh, students, what I, what I get to know from them, some of the students are going for, you know, um, a free food uh, in this Gudiwara, which I personally been before. The food is pretty good there. So some students choose to stay near the Gudiwara and they're having free food on a daily basis. One meal, you know, things like that. Yeah. So you said 150 Singapore dollars per month for accommodation. Uh, no, for accommodation is 400. There's a disturbance. There's a disturbance. 150. Oh, okay. Uh, for accommodation is 400. They are transportation, 150. Food, I would say it's another $300, yes. Thank you. Yay. Also, um, if required, I if you need uh, some reference from students coming from Kerala, you can also inform Bijoy. He will actually forward you uh, one or two of our students that is currently studying in Singapore. So you can, you all can call and actually check with them the exact situation. Sir, what about the index? For intake a year, Oh, uh, the coming one will be in month of April. Thereafter, we have a July, October, and we will end this two zero two four. Uh, is there a chance for PR once you are employed there? Of uh, okay, see. Um, in terms of permanent residency, I would say it will take up many years, you know. Uh, from being a student, if you successfully get a full-time employment, and usually we will advise students to clock in at least uh, three years before filing uh, for your permanent residency. And we all know that the population, we are hit to the ceiling. So, um, the application may take a few rounds before getting the permanent residency. That will be probably another five years from the date of application for studies. The fastest huh, is five years here. Yeah. And of course, I think the family, so in that case, the family cannot be taken. They cannot take the family there. No, for Singapore, dependent passes are not possible. That is only after they get full-time employment 
then dependent bus is uh is is they can consider the the dependence. Yeah, after full time employment, they can take the dependence. So they can take their dependence after they get the, get their full time uh, employment. Yes, again, like I say, uh, like I mentioned earlier, once you gotten your full time employment, so upon getting the full time employment, it will depends on the salary range. So at a certain cap, at a minimum salary of like a four thousand dollars, then you are eligible to apply for your dependent. Any salary less than four thousand range, not possible. Any other questions from the ground again? If there is no further question, shall we wind up the meeting? Uh, Mr. Benlo, it was really such a wonderful session. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's wind up the meeting. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.